Here we have some drone footage of the base of the spillway from quite a few days ago. Fortunately, with the original video that I did, this uh, creep snake criminal filed a bogus copyright claim against me because I used a tiny little clip of his aerial footage, which I think is kind of funny since it's a no-fly zone, don't you? That all these guys have uh, access to this uh, airspace. Dude's a snake. I fi filed a counterclaim against him because he's totally not understanding Creative Commons and all that, but this could take up to 10 days, so I figured I might as well just cut whatever it was that he thought was his out and redo the video. So here we are. Here's some uh, up-close footage shot by a helicopter uh, California Water Department. It's showing you the scale of how massive this thing is. You see the shadow right there. Much left of that sluice box. Could you imagine all the gold that was displaced from all that bedrock? We're talking about California's new gold rush below this dam. You wonder with all that material that got blown out of here that is being removed by these guys in that bottom channel. Is what are they doing with that stuff? Are they checking it for gold? Are they processing it? Or what? Here's another section. You can just see all the debris right there that's just clogging up that area. They have to get that out of there before the next rains come. Here we see them working to clear the channel and get that engine room up and running again so they can run the water through the hydroelectric plant instead of running it over the primary spillway or the emergency spillway. Just to give you an idea of the scale of this spillway, here's the guys right at the base of it. Look at how puny they are. Look at a couple little ants. As of 3-3-2017, three, three, they've got the uh, water level down around 40-some feet or so, but every day now the water level is rising by about 3 feet since they shut down the main spillway to finish this work, and that's with no rain or anything coming in. The next couple of days they got water forecasted, not to mention uh, 30 plus feet of snowpack up in the mountains that's going to be starting to melt pretty soon. They have to get this all cleared out. If we get any warm rain up there or anything within the next couple of days or weeks, these guys are in big trouble. From some uh, information that's been leaked from the area, uh, the people in charge are saying that if the water level begins to reach close to the emergency spillway that they're going to call the mandatory evacuation orders. 